Hello there, my name is Alex De Michele. I am a partner engineer here at GitHub, and today I'm going to walk you through the integration between GitHub Advanced Security and Nucleus. Let's take a look at the global dashboard. This view allows you to switch between your resources and provides an aggregated view of all your vulnerabilities. Once you select a project from the global dashboard, you can start reviewing metrics specific to that project. This dashboard provides a summary of your most vulnerable assets, how many code QL and depend about alerts were generated. It displays what are the top critical alerts and it includes many other features. Once you click on a specific view, you can start to see a list of active vulnerabilities. Let's click on one. What's really powerful about Nucleus is that it allows your team to efficiently track and resolve issues. You can change the description of an issue or add comments. You can set a new date or assign the issue to a member of your team and you can create reports. Let's have a look at the trends panel. It allows you to check for changes over time. For instance, it shows how many vulnerabilities were discovered or fixed over time and provides an average time to remediation by severity view which is very helpful to understand how long it takes on average to fix a vulnerability. In the assets management panel, you can see a list of repositories that belong to your organization. After clicking on any repository, you can see an in-depth view of every vulnerability and scan that is open for that repo. That's everything for the Nucleus app. Make sure to view the how to get started video if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching.